Hi, my name is Shivanjani Lal. I'm an artist and curator based in Sydney, Australia. I'm calling in from Darug country, which is in Western Sydney, and I'm on the lands of the Wongal and Wadagora clans of the Darug nation. Um, I'm an artist whose work looks at indentured labor of the Asia, um, of the Indian and Pacific Oceans. Uh, my family is from Fiji, but my heritage is from um, from India and part of the conversation that I'm having with the work that I'm showing in Threads of Time is about um, the sugar industry in Fiji but also the responsibility of that industry within the context of empire. So the works that I've produced um, have all come about from my time in the UK um, as you can clearly tell, I'm not in the UK at the moment. Um, but during my year um, doing my master's in London, I was exploring different ideas around what it means to make a monument and account for time. In 2020, um, it was the hundredth, the centenary of the abolition of indentured labor. And I found myself wondering who was having this conversation and mostly nobody was. And so um, with that kind of responsibility, I decided to start sort of creating actions and gestures that enabled me to potentially create my own monument for my community. So the works begin with a map. The map in the work in the show is called the Australian Hemisphere and I've stitched into this map multiple times. Um, and what I do every time I stitch into it is I sort of try and account for every ship that moved from India to Fiji. Um, and it kind of creates this wound that I'm suturing. Um, the second work, well, there's a number of different works. There's another map in the show that looks um, has a piece of writing in it. Um, writing has become a huge part of my practice over the last 12, 18 months and it's something that I'm use, uh, I'm sort of exploring in this work, um, exploring the idea of what it means to uh, write one's own story. Um, one of the works is a horizon and that this work sort of speaks to uh, the ideas of generations and landscapes. Um, I have lived and worked in India before but I realized very quickly that I am a Pacific person in a South Asian body and so for me part of that is about some of the works are about trying to account for that like specificity um, and finally one of the works is um, a sugar sack and another work and another series of works um, is uh, an attempt to make sugarcane um, and so the sugar sacks are sourced from my hometown in Fiji which is a place called Singatoka. Um, my dad's family had lived there for over a hundred years they were part of the first gimmicks that went over um, and uh, sourcing it in this hometown is kind of like an interesting thing because uh, the sugar industry in Fiji is dying and so um, I'm hoping to kind of keep making this work but um it, it it's sort of a marker of time and then the final work is a series of sugarcane casts um these casts were made from jamaican sugar that i sourced in deptford and um one of the things that i find really interesting about this is is that there's in the process of replicating sugar i'm sort of replicating a process of empire because empire or empire building was about trying to kind of move um trying to replicate systems of power um and so i've 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 i'm quite interested in in these ideas of how to navigate or unpack this um and part of the ways that i have unpacked this is is that each of the works have its own beginning point, its own lineage. Um, in many ways, like I can figure, I know where my great grandmother's story begins, but that's it. Um, and in relationship to empire, like one of the things that I found really curious about being in the UK was there is this huge understanding of people's past, but in the case of my family, I don't have that. Um, and so 
I'm thinking like in relationship to like what it is that I want to make I'm thinking I'm curious about if these gestures can account for something and sort of generate a future um, anyway I hope you enjoy the show there are some really incredible artists um, involved and I'm really proud to, to be sharing space with them thank you